February 2, Sunday, Feast of the Presentation of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Joseph and Mary took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Just as it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace, according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was eighty-four. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord The Fruit of Encounter Luke presents Joseph and Mary as particularly faithful to the tradition of their people. They bring the child Jesus to the temple in obedience to the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord. As a firstborn son, Jesus is consecrated to the Lord as the law requires. But there is no requirement that this is to be done in the temple. Luke probably has in the mind the story of Hannah who brings the child Samuel to the sanctuary of the Lord in Shiloh and offers him for sanctuary services. While holding the child Jesus in his arms, the old man Simeon blesses God who has fulfilled his promise of salvation, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people Israel. Here, we recall the Christmas theme of light shining through the darkness, including the light of the star that leads to Magi to Jesus. It is because of this light that the presentation of the Lord is popularly known as Candlemas, or in the Philippines, the Feast of the Candelaria. In the Eastern churches, it is known as the Encounter. The church has also declared it as World Day of Consecrated Life. During the celebration of the presentation of the Lord in 2015, Pope Francis dwelt on the theme of encounter. In the temple, Jesus comes to meet us and we go to meet him. We contemplate the meeting with the elderly Simeon who represents the faithful expectation of Israel and the exaltation of the heart for the fulfillment of the ancient promises. We also admire the meeting with the elderly prophetess Anna who on seeing the child exults with joy and praises God. Simeon and Anna are the expectation and the prophecy. Jesus is the novelty and the fulfillment. He presents himself to us as the endless surprise of God. <music>